Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software, and today I want to talk to you a bit about a new feature we're adding into MDS 1.7, the ability to host a monkey repository right inside of MDS. Um, we didn't stop there. We also have the ability to uh, create a repository and uh, be able to administer the repository, as well as automatically configure the client that you deploy with the resources in MDS. So the first thing I'll do is you'll notice there's a new feature, um, serve monkey over HTTP from folder. Um, before I actually click on that checkbox, let me talk to you a little about, about one, what monkey is. So MDS allows you to install packages at uh, when you first install macOS. Um, what Monkey does is it puts a client onto the Mac OS, uh, onto the Mac, and then that client will check into a web server repository called the Monkey repository and be able to pull down any packages, any updates um, that it, the client requires um, that you use configure in the repository. It also has a managed software center to let, it's kind of like an app store to allow users to select um, packages from it, um, as well as you can designate software that needs to be uninstalled. So it's a great way to keep all the software up to date post deployment. And so we baked it into MDS, um, so it's really easy to set up. Um, so let me um, go ahead and actually show you how the configuration works. So I'll click on the uh, checkbox serve monkey over HTTP from folder. The first thing it's gonna do is say, oh, monkey's not installed yet because I'm just initially running this. So click install. It opens up a web browser and goes to the, uh, the latest release page and it's right here, monkey tools. And you just download that and install it. I've already downloaded it here. So to save a little bit of time, I'll just click on it and install it. And you need to install this both on the MDS um, uh, the MDS machine that's hosting the monkey repository. And we also need to install this on the client. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So now if we go back and we click on this checkbox again, it's gonna prompt me to say, hey, where do you wanna actually store this repository? And so I'll put it into the shared folder. And you can see up here, it says it's typically called monkey repo. And so I'll do monkey, uh, monkey repo. And so now it's created an empty folder. There's no repository in it yet. So when I click this checkbox to start, it's gonna say, hey, there's no repository. Do you want me to create it? So I'll say, go ahead and create it. It'll create that repository and start serving it over HTTP. You can see this link down here actually has the, the address for the repository. If I click on that, it'll actually open up a browser and show me the repository. Normally you wouldn't browse it through a browser, but uh, this shows you that it's up and running. So it's ready for the client to uh, access it and be able to uh, pull down packages. So let me show you that next, how to configure the client to do it. So the first thing we'll do is uh, um, create a workflow and we'll call this the monkey workflow. Um, and we're gonna have it install Mac OS. And I have on my desktop, some resources and Mojave. So I would install Mojave and erase and install it. Um, under resources, I, I will um, just select uh, packages and apps because I want to install the actual monkey client. So I'll add the monkey tools into this packages folder and then I'll select that folder. And there we go. And you can see that it appears here as uh, Monkey Tools is going to be installed. I won't bother with any scripts or profiles. You could add those in if you wanted to, but that for now we're just going to install the Monkey client. Um, we're going to create a user account because that way um, we'll have an admin account on the machine. So I'll call this TCS admin and give it a password and allow it to administer the computer. Under options, I'll have it set the computer name as the serial number, skip all the setup assistance, um, enable SSH and allow administrator to do screen sharing. So always great options, to, uh, especially on a uh, like an initial setup machine. Um, and then we have a new tab, you can see this called Monkey. And what this does is if you click configure client, it'll automatically populate the URL for your hosted Monkey repository on this MDS machine. If you're hosting it somewhere else, you would of course put in the URL for that one. Um, but for this one, you can see it just automatically populates it. It's very easy to um, uh, configure or set, put the configuration in. So, so now when uh, MDS, uh, whenever you have a Mac that's being set up, use the MDS resources to install it. It'll install the monkey tools and it'll set the monkey uh, repo URL um, so it'll pull down all the configurations. So I'll click on OK. 
Um, one of the other things I want to point out is that we did have the ability to serve the monkey repo over at HTTPS. So you can select your certificate in PEM format and the key in PEM format. If you're generating a self-signed certificate, it's very easy. You just hit the question mark, copy this text, paste it into the uh, terminal, and it will generate a key for you. And then you just select them here, and you're off and running, uh, serving it over HTTPS. For this demo, I'll just keep it simple, and I'll do it over HTTP. All right, so um, before I actually image the, uh, or uh, before I actually go and actually configure the client, um, I want to actually set up the repository. So you can see up on the toolbar, I now have a monkey admin link. If I click on this, it's going to say, hey, you don't have monkey admin uh, installed. And so this is a Cocoa app that makes it really easy to be able to uh, administer a monkey repository. So if I click on install, it takes me to the GitHub page. Um, for Monkey Admin, and just like before, you can download it right here. I already downloaded it to my desktop, so I will just mount the disk image and drag it to my Applications folder. Okay, so now that's been installed. So if I just click on Monkey Admin, it will open up the repository, and I'm ready to configure it. So um, I don't have anything in the repository right now. Uh, it's an empty repository. I do have a manifest that's called Site Default. All the, by default, all your clients are going to use that. You can have machine-specific manifests. They'll tell exactly the configuration for that client. But for this demo, I'll just leave it as salt site default. And I'll create a new catalog. Catalog is basically all the applications that are available to install. And I'll call it testing. And um, now we need an app. So let me go and add in uh, Boot Runner. It's one of our apps. Uh, install Boot Runner. Here. So now I'll import it into the repository. And now we have Boot Runner that's available in our catalog. It doesn't mean it's going to be installed on that machine, it just means it's available. So I'll go into the, ma into the manifest and I'll say, oh, as one of the uh, optional installs, I want to install Boot Runner. And then I will close this and hit save. And that's it. So now when I um, go ahead and use MDS to uh, install Mac OS, configure the monkey client, I should be able to open up the Managed Software Center, which is kind of like the App Store, um, as I mentioned before, and see um, that Boot Runner is now available to be installed. And um, from this point on, you can then use Monkey to push packages down, have the users, uh, well, not really push packages down, make them available for the client to pull down, um, as well as uh, have the user be able to select which software they want them installed based on these, uh, these uh, optional installs. So let me switch over to the client um, and we'll go through the MDS setup and I'll show you how, uh, how it looks when it's done. Okay, the Mac is finished being provisioned. It's installed Mac OS on it and uh, hopefully the Monkey client as well as the Monkey software. So let's go ahead and check. Um, so I'm still running the Monkey repository here. I'll leave that open. And then since I turned on screen sharing as one of the options, I'll just do um, from my admin Mac here that's running MDS, I can see, oh, hey, look, this um, the serial number for the one is this one. It's actually a 2018 Mac Mini, so I can tell that it's the space gray. And I'll click on share screen. Since screen sharing has been enabled, I'll do it. And I created this user account, so I'll be able to sign in with that user account or at least screen share. And then I'll get to the main sign-in window, and I'll just put in the password. And then uh, it'll log in. And then I should see if I go into Manage Software Center, if I open this up, you can see now I have Boot Runner available to install. So now, now I can go ahead and um, install that piece of software. So now if I want to install another um, application, let's say Google Chrome, I just go into Monkey Admin. Uh, I find my Google Chrome, which I have right here, drag it in to the catalog, save it. And it'll add that in. And that's been added in. So now I'll go and add it in as an optional install. I can also force it onto the client, but I just want to show you how to make this available. And I'll save it. Now if I go back to the screen sharing session, uh, I guess, uh, let me see. Oh, here it is. Um, and now if I refresh, it'll automatically refresh if I close and open this up again. Let me do that. And now I can see there's Google Chrome available. And if I click on install, um, it'll now download Google Chrome and actually install that piece of software. 
Um, so you can see it's very easy to set up a monkey repository through MDS and put the client onto the, uh, the deployment uh, or into the client so it automatically connects up to the monkey server. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure to click on the subscribe button below, um, as well as check out the uh, Slack channel we have on Mac Admins for MDS, um, as well as the uh, download the beta of 1.7. It actually has uh, all the features that I've shown. You, you can download it and try it out today. Um, we're still working on the new features that we're including in 1.7. We're getting pretty close, um, but um, it should be out in the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks very much for watching, and uh, be sure to check back for more of these videos. Thank you.